nothing but a mixture of gases. Air is present everywhere around us, right? And what is moving air? Moving air is called wind. Air, air is a mixture of many gases, many types of gases like nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. All these together constitute air and many inert gases in small quantities also are present in air. Then what is wind? Wind is nothing but the moving air, flow of air is known as the wind. So always whenever air is flowing, it exerts pressure. So how can we say that air exerts pressure? We will see some examples to say that air exerts pressure. So tube of a bicycle gets inflated when air is filled in it. So if we are riding a bicycle, sometimes there will be no air. Then we go to a cycle shop and get the air filled. So that time what happens? Because of filling of air, the size of the tire will increase. So tube of the bicycle gets inflated, increased in size when the air is filled in it. So that is how air exerts pressure. Then it is difficult to move a bicycle against the direction of the wind. Suppose the wind is blowing from this side and we are riding a cycle this side. It will be very difficult to ride a bicycle because air pushes us, air exerts pressure. Whereas if air is blowing from behind, then we can ride the cycle very easily because from behind there will be less pressure. Whereas air exerts pressure from this side, so to go against the air will be very difficult. Then it is difficult to sail a boat against the direction of the wind. So sailors, people who sail a boat, who ride a boat, sailors in the sea, in the rivers, it is difficult for them to sail a boat against the direction of the wind. So for them also, because air exerts pressure, it will be difficult to ride that boat. Because air exerts pressure, then a kite flies. Because air exerts pressure from rare portion of the kite. A kite which flies in the sky because from the behind if there is air, then the kite will fly properly. Only from the behind, rare side. Then when boiled water is filled in a can and its mouth is closed, the lid followed by cold water being poured over the can. The can gets distorted. You know Pepsi cans, you know Pepsi can, thumbs up cans, cans they come no. So in that can if you pour boiling hot water and then you close the lid then immediately we pour the cold water on it. Then what happens? The shape of the can will get disturbed. It will become irregular in shape. Why? This happens because air inside the can gets condensed and creates low pressure because there is no space for the air to escape. It gets condensed, that means come compact and creates low pressure area. So when a boiled water is filled in a can and its mouth is closed by a lid and followed by that cold water is being poured over the can. Then the shape of the can gets distorted, irregular in shape. Why? Because the air inside the can gets condensed, pressed and creates low pressure. Then there will be no pressure to escape, right? So a low pressure area will be created. And then higher pressure from the outside distorts the shape of the can. Then if we immediately pour the cold water, that is high pressure from outside. So that is why the shape of the can will be distorted. So that is how again this example explains us that air exerts pressure. Then aeroplanes fly in the air. Why? Because air exerts pressure. Birds fly in the air. Because air exerts pressure. Thatch roof is blown off. Because of high speed. Because high speed wind creates area of low pressure. So suppose if during high windy atmosphere the roofs of the huts will get blown away why because high speed winds come right the high speed air will come what then what does high speed wind do high speed wind creates area of low pressure that's why the suction mechanism will be there and then the roof of the hut will be blown away so increased wind speed always leads to decreased air pressure blindly you have to remember Increase in wind speed or air speed leads always to the low pressure. So the movement of air 
always will be from high pressure area to a low pressure area always the wind moves from high pressure area to the low pressure area and the increase in the pressure difference leads to the increase in wind speed and vice versa if there is increase in the pressure there will be increase in the wind speed and if there is decrease in the pressure there will be decrease in the wind speed so that is how movement of air occurs now we will see some more examples how air exerts pressure high speed winds are accompanied by reduced air pressure so as i said earlier always wherever there is increase in wind speed there will be low air pressure to prove this we will see some examples blowing into a bottle we have to take a empty 1 liter plastic water bottle and we have to take a small piece of paper and crumble it into a small ball then if you blow into the mouth of the bottle the piece of the crumbled paper will not get displaced to the back of the bottle it will only be playing here and there from the bottle why because air near the mouth has high speed if you are blowing from the mouth it has high speed so wherever the air has high speed the pressure will be low whereas the air present in the bottle air pressure inside the bottle is high so air inside the bottle pushes the ball outside so when we try to blow inside a 1 liter empty plastic bottle a piece of crumbled paper the wind coming up from our mouth will have high speed and low pressure whereas the air present inside the bottle has low speed and high pressure so because of that high pressure it will not allow the ball to go back the ball will stay only near the mouth of the bottle so air inside the bottle pushes the ball out we will be trying to blow in and because of high speed low air pressure and inside the bottle high air pressure low speed this will not allow the ball to get inside the high pressure wind will allow will push the ball outside only and we will be trying to push the ball inside so that is how high speed wind is accompanied by reduced air pressure then one more example we take a cycle spoke and we tie two balloons to it of equal size then we put some water in the balloons and then we hold the cycle spoke like this with two balloons hanging to it with some amount of water then when we try to blow between the balloons like this what happens when you try to blow between the balloons from here blowing between the balloons move them towards each other if you blow between the two air balloons they move towards each other why because the pressure of air between these two balloons is reduced the pressure of air between these two balloons is reduced and the pressure outside the balloons push them towards each other there is low pressure area between the balloons and high pressure area around the balloons on the surroundings so this high pressure area push the balloons nearer because there is low pressure in between the balloons so low pressure pressure of air between the balloons is low that is why when you float between the balloons they move towards each other and the pressure of air around the balloons is high that is why pressure outside the balloons push to them towards each other then one more example blowing over the strip of paper if you take a paper strip you put like this and blow it what happens the paper strip will blow up so go upside when you blow it why paper strip went up on blowing because blowing over the paper strip reduced the air pressure above the strip so the air pressure above the paper strip was reduced when we blew it when you blow the paper there was high speed because of the high speed wind the paper went up and reduced the air pressure above the strip understood when you blow blow with with your mouth high speed wind the paper went up because there was a low pressure area above the strip of the paper so that is how these three examples explain you that high speed winds are always accompanied with low air pressure